Top 10 Expensive Cars in the World Are you looking for a car that is really expensive? If so, you're in luck. In this video, we are going to take a look at the 10 most expensive cars in the world. These cars cost a fortune and are definitely not for everyone. But if you are looking for something truly unique and exclusive, then these are the cars for you. Make sure to check out the video to see which car is number one on our list. 10. Rolls-Royce Boat Tail Price up to 25 million pounds, est. When the incredible Rolls-Royce boat tail was unveiled at market a return to proper, bespoke coach building for the storied British brand. If the design itself didn't take your breath away, then the jaw-dropping price certainly will. Yes, there have been very special classic cars that sold for more at auction, but as a brand new car, nothing comes close to the Rolls-Royce boat tail. It's also unique in this company because it's a luxury model, not a car offering mind-bending speed and focused handling. Loosely related to the V12-powered Rolls-Royce Phantom underneath, the boat tail is inspired by ultra-luxury yachts from the 1920s and beyond with a bespoke body with a removable roof canopy, a new level of interior finish, and what's known as a hosting suite. An opening rear deck containing a parasol, high-class outdoor seating, and a champagne fridge. Three Rolls-Royce boat tails have been built in total, customized from the ground up by their well-heeled owners. The price? Rolls doesn't discuss the vulgar manner of money, but the estimate is anywhere from £22 £25 million each, making it by far and away the world's most expensive new car. 09. Bugatti La Voiture Noir Price, 11.4 million pounds, aprox. There's your common or garden Bugattis, and then there's the Bugatti La Voiture Noir. It's a true one-off, and while your bog-standard Chiron costs 2.5 million pounds, including taxes, this cost well over four times that. It's the world's second most expensive car then. It's based on a Chiron underneath. It's a homage to a special 1940 Type 57 Atlantic owed by Bugatti's founder's son, John Bugatti. It mysteriously vanished while traveling on a train from the Bugatti factory in Molsheim, France, to Bordeaux. Think the La Voiture Noir is expensive. Apparently, Ralph Lauren turned down an offer of $100 million for his one of two Type 57 Atlantic. Anyway, the Bugatti La Voiture Noir is 450 mm longer than a standard Chiron and tuned to be more of a grand tour. Despite that, it still uses the same quad-turbo 8.0-liter Dewey 16 engine, putting out a little under 1,500 pounds. So it will still get a move on if you flex your right foot. It remains to be seen if Bugatti can find someone rich enough to commission another example. 08. Bugatti Centidisi. Price, 9 million pounds. Compared to the La Voiture Noir, the Bugatti Centidisi is positively common. Bugatti will build 10 examples of the hypercar, and one has been bought by footballer Cristiano Ronaldo. Recognize some details of the Centidisi? That might be because you remember the last Bugatti to be built by the French maker before it was taken under the wing of Volkswagen. Called the EB110, it rivaled the McLaren F1 with a carbon fiber chassis, active aerodynamics, and a 550 pounds 3.5 liter quad turbo V12. The Bugatti Centidisi borrows the same aggressive front end and uses a similar mechanically adjustable rear wing as the EB110 Super Sport. But it'll blow it into next week with a massive 1,600 pounds from a tuned version of the Chiron's 8.0 liter quad turbo D16 engine. The car also celebrated the brand's 110 year anniversary. The price? About 9 million pounds inclusive of taxes. 07 Bugatti Devo. Price, 4.8 million pounds. The hierarchy of special Bugattis is quite clear. The more expensive they get, the less are built. The Devo is a mere 4.8 million pounds, still making the standard Bugatti Chiron look cheap, and 40 examples were produced. In July 2021, the last example rolled off the production line and was given to its owner. Surprise, surprise, the Bugatti Devo is based on a Chiron and uses that DB16 engine again, but it's been designed as a more track-focused sports car than a straight-line warrior, with all-new carbon fiber bodywork bringing down the weight, 
more downforce, and a reduced top speed, down to just 236 miles per hour. The standard Chiron will go faster still with its special top speed mode, up to 261 miles per hour. But the Bugatti Divo will monster its sibling in the bends. It also get a more menacing look to help it stand out, while there's a huge array of personalization options. 06. Bugatti Belide. Price. 4 million pounds. Est. Oh look, it's another Bugatti. This one is probably the most extreme looking of the lot, and that's because the Bugatti Belide is a track-only model, unlike the others in this list. Imagine paying all that money and never being allowed to take it on the road. Still, if you're rich enough to buy the Bugatti Belide, you'll probably have a Chiron or two spare for that. Originally shown off as a concept, Bugatti decided it would build 40 Belides to sell to customers. We reckon it'll be the fastest of all the Bugattis, and one of the very fastest cars around the track money can buy. Its duty 16 engine was boosted to a bonkers 1,825 pounds in the concept, although that figure is achieved on 110 octane race fuel. In production form, it puts out the same 1,600 pounds as the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport and Centavici. The racing spec is clear from looking at the Belide, with its intense aero sculpted shape, lower roofline giant jewel element wing, and mad diffuser. Buyers are offered exclusive Bugatti track days to test their metal with this incredible car. 05. Pagani Duera Roadster PC. Price. 3.7 million pounds with options. Breaking the Bugatti deadlock in this list is this stunning creation, called the Pagani Huera Roadster BC. It's an even faster and more exclusive version of an already fast and exclusive hypercar. When the regular Pagani Huera was launched, it cost a trifling 800,000 pounds. But with all the bells and whistles, the Huera Roadster BC is more than four times that. Why? Well, an awful lot has changed from when the standard Huera arrived over a decade ago. As well as the removable roof and upgraded bodywork, it gets a brand new, more powerful version of the 6.0-liter twin-turbo V12, taking power to 791 pounds. Sounds tame next to the Bugattis? Remember the Huera is rear-wheel drive and far lighter, with a special carbon composite body bringing weight down to 1,000, 250 kilograms, about the same as a Bago spec VW Golf, boasting impressive body rigidity figures and a huge amount of downforce. 40 examples of the intricately detailed Pagani Huera Roadster BC will be produced. 04. Aston Martin Valkyrie A&R Pro. Price. 3.5 million pounds. Aprox. The incredible F1-inspired Aston Martin Valkyrie is already one of the most extreme and expensive cars in the world, but it somehow wasn't enough for some, which is why the track-only Valkyrie AMR Pro exists. The bonkers-looking Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro is essentially a V12 engine with a smattering of carbon bodywork draped around it. But it's not any V12 engine, it's a Cosworth developed naturally aspirated screamer developing over 1,000 pounds and revving to 11,000 revolutions per minute. The top speed is 225 miles per hour. To turn your regular Valkyrie into an AMR Pro Aston Martin reduces weight, with even more carbon in the suspension, the removal of the regular Valkyrie's hybrid system, and Perspex windows. It also gets a longer wheelbase and dramatic wings and spoilers to produce twice the downforce of the standard Valkyrie. 75 examples of the Aston Martin Valkyrie will be produced, with some of those being AMR Pro models. First deliveries have already begun. 03. Lamborghini Cien Roadster. Price. 3.2 million pounds. Aprox. Lamborghini has also muscled in on the ultra-prestige market, clearly worried that the Aventador and Huracan are simply too attainable. The Lamborghini Cien Roadster is one of the most expensive Lambos ever produced, estimated to be even pricier than the regular hardtop Cien. Lamborghini won't reveal the exact figure. The Cien Roadster is actually a hybrid car. It's hardly a Toyota Prius, though, with 819 pounds from a naturally aspirated 6.5-liter V12 and electric motor combination. Along with its typical Lambo-esque outlandish aero-boosting styling, the Cheyenne Roadster has some interesting tech. 
including the use of a supercapacitor, basically a super powerful battery, to fill in the acceleration gaps during gear changes and boost the performance. Even the Roadster version will do 062 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and go on to 217 miles per hour. 19 examples of the Xi'an Roadster were sold out before the car was even revealed to the public, each highly customized by Lamborghini's Ad Personum Personalization Department. 02. Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. Price 3.1 million pounds. What's this, a Bugatti? Oh yes, and this isn't the last in this list of the world's most expensive cars. The Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus might be only a Chiron compared to the brand's other bespoke offerings, but it packs an even mightier punch. The Chiron Supersport 300 Plus was built, as the name suggests, to commemorate the modified Chiron that exceeded 300 miles per hour back in 2019, with 100 pounds more than a regular Chiron up to 1,600 pounds, plus longer gearing and a 250 mm longer rear tail to greatly improve aerodynamics. The Super Sport 300 Plus is allegedly capable of nearing that triple 100 barrier, if you can find a road long enough. Happily, Bugatti offered owners the chance to try the car out for themselves at the super long Aralesian test track in Germany. 30 examples were produced, and all have been sold and delivered as of this year. 01. Bugatti Chiron Per Sport. Price. 3 million pounds. If you're not a fan of Bugattis, you'll have pretty much hated this list. Happily for you, this Bugatti Chiron Per Sport is the last to feature with its cool 3 million pounds price. In a similar vein to the Bugatti Devo, it's a more handling-focused driver's car than the regular Chiron, with less weight, more downforce, and shorter gear ratios for faster acceleration below 150 miles per hour. That does mean the top speed is reduced to a frankly pathetic 218 miles per hour, however, partly due to a now-fixed rear spoiler.